It's a great time to catch up with friends and family during our safer at home mandate. And this morning I'm just checking in with my buddy and Tennessee head coach Rick Barnes. My wife was there as well. You'll hear her laughing. I think you'll enjoy this. All right, so I'm just checking in. What, what's going on? How's the walking going? <laughs> well, it was going good until you showed up. You took, you took us from a 15-mile pace to a 22-mile pace. <laughs> Uh, but the company, uh, there's no doubt in my mind you're down there because you're the next profession. You're going to run for mayor. <laughs> Somebody gets stopped so much as you. Like, what's up, Russell? <laughs> well, I showed up even without my uh, tennis shoes on one day. Yeah, that was impressive. You, I, you're walking towards us in a blue blazer. And uh, you look like our detail team. Oh, you got, you got to have somebody protect you. And I figured it was me. You and I are on the same team. Seven seconds left. Our, our team is down by one. Once you get me the ball, are you just going to get out of the way or set me a pick? First of all, with seven seconds to go, if you have the ball, we're calling the timeout. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to say, Coach, get Russell out of the game. That's not happening. It, it, it's, it's all about him. All he wants to do is shoot the ball. Get me the ball, and we're going home. I want to tell you why I wouldn't, get, I wouldn't want you to take the last shot. What? There's no doubt if you took the last shot and missed, You'd be one of those kids that fell down on the floor and started crying. <laughs> There's no doubt. And, and when you stood up, you, you would complain that I threw you a bad pass. <laughs> well, you're not the best passer. Now, I'm talking about both of us in our prime. I'm not talking about right now. Well, I'm not either. With our prime, we wouldn't have been on the same court. Because one, <laughs> you would have still been in high school playing, like, the lowest level. <laughs> Come on, you know better than that. What gets you through this? You, you like me, uh, we believe that God is in control of all this. And I do think it's a time that we can all sit back and reprioritize and realize that some of the things that we thought were important uh, maybe aren't as important. And I think it's a great time, and I do believe this, that it's a great time for a great awakening. And what does that mean? I think it's time that we step back, get into the words. And we've got to have a God that we believe in and a God that we know that... Uh, when our time is up here, that he's waiting on us with open arms. Amen. And you even are dressed like a minister right now. Well, do you want to confess anything? <laughs> I think that's the end of our conversation, Coach. <laughs>